Hey guys, it is Sophie from Games by Brains and thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to watch today's video. I really, really appreciate it. And in this video, I am going to show you what I eat in a day, lean bulking edition. And that is because I'm currently on a lean bulk, which is basically that you try to create the most optimal environment for your body to build muscle. It is still very, very early. So that is also why my voice probably sounds a little bit raspy, but hopefully that will go away very soon. I do need some coffee. So that is what I'm going to make right now. And while I make myself a coffee i also wanted to talk about intermittent fasting for a little bit because i received a lot of questions about that recently i have been fasting intermittently while i was cutting and also while i was reversing my diet which is basically that you transition from a losing weight diet to your normal regular diet where you will maintain your body composition intermittent fasting is not a diet it is a pattern of eating and the main difference with that is that intermittent fasting doesn't say what you should eat or how much you should be eating, which is what a diet does. It only says when you should eat it. As an advantage, that might result in that it makes it easier to stick to your diet because you now have a specific time window during which you eat all your calories and that can really help with not overeating. So let's reverse for a little bit. Intermittent fasting is when you have an eating window and you have a fasting window. The eating window is the window during which you eat all your calories. So let's say that your eating window is eight hours per day. That means that you eat for eight consecutive hours. And during those eight hours, you eat all your daily calories. And then you start your fast and then you fast for 16 hours until you start your eating window again the next day. Now that I'm lean bulking, I have a lot of calories to take in on a daily basis. And that is because I am setting myself up to gain weight. So with that, it is actually a bit difficult for me to do intermittent fasting because then I feel really luckish for those let's say eight hours that i eat all my calories so now i'm getting up and i eat breakfast which is around seven ish i would say and then i just eat during the entire day until i go to bed again so that is the reason why i'm not fasting anymore that's also why i am going to make breakfast right now for breakfast i am making oats and i am making it with some nuts or i'm going to top it with some unsalted nut mix and then i also have some cinnamon right here and i'm just making it with regular water and i'm having 50 grams of oats and then i have 20 or 25 grams of this nut mix as you maybe know by now i really like to have some type of fruit in my oats but i actually run out of everything and not really prepared otherwise i would probably add a banana in it and when i'm not not on a lean bulking diet then i usually have some blueberries because they are less caloric dense meaning that you can have more volume for less calories i actually saw that there are some people who make their oats with boiling water which is a life hack so i never tried that i usually make it on the stove which is right here and then i just add cold water until it is warmed up properly maybe i should just try it so this is what i have created so far i put 200 milliliters of boiling water in my oats because I like them to be a bit watery instead of thicker and now I think I'm just going to wait for a little bit but I'm really curious to see how this one plays out if it works then it for me it's a life hack because that not only saves time but then I also don't have to wash that many dishes I'm just going to add in a lot of cinnamon looks exactly like it looks whenever I'm done preparing it at the stove. So this is a good start to my morning. Then I'm adding the nut mix. So this is the end result. I miss my fruits a little bit, but this will do for right now. I'm all back on the floor again. Reason being is that I am going to grab my protein powder because I always try to get a balanced intake of fats, carbs and protein, especially since I'm on a plant-based diet, then getting protein in can be a bit tricky. So often if I don't pay attention, my meals are mainly carbs and a little bit of fat and no protein. So I'm having my women's best vanilla vegan protein powder and then I have my coffee and that is my breakfast. And then I'm also taking my creatine so that I do not forget about it i take five grams on a daily basis of creatine i do not cycle it or anything i just take five grams every single day what i also wanted to talk about for a little bit is tracking macros so since this is a full day of eating i'll make sure to include the macros so you have a bit of an idea of what i'm eating on a daily basis but i actually stop with tracking macros every single day and that is just to give myself a mental break because whenever i start dieting again then i track macros when i'm reversing my diet i track macros so whenever i'm 
bulking, I do not want to track macros. I showed you my lean bulking diet, so that is what I approximately eat every single day, but then obviously with a bit of a variation to keep things fun. <laughs> So I do know that I stick to my macros pretty well, even though I do not track them. Since I've been tracking for a little while now, I'm also able to eat intuitively while keeping macros in the back of my mind, if that makes sense. But I do not track my macros every single day. I do weigh myself every single day so I can keep track of progress that way. If my weight increases too fast, then I usually track again. Or if my weight isn't increasing, then I also track and then I know whether I should increase my calories or not. So yeah, that is basically my approach but since i am having a full day of eating right now i do track and i do have some days where i track just to make sure that i stay on track so yeah now i'm going to eat and i'm going to drink my coffee because it is already getting cold <laughs> I just got back from the grocery store to get everything that I needed to make lunch. Actually, it's more like dinner. That's what you say, right? Between lunch and dinner. It's a bit late already, but I'm still making lunch. I'm making it a bit more calories and then I make my dinner a bit less calories just so that I get the bulk of my calories in right now and not right before I go to bed. I am going to make a Buddha bowl. I'm not exactly sure if that is the right term, but I believe that it is. But I'll just take my jacket off. The plan is to make a Buddha bowl, which is basically a bowl with loads of things in it, a lot of colors. I am making it with rice, since rice is more caloric dense than potatoes, for example, and then I'm having potatoes as my main source of carbs in the evening for dinner. And then I'm just going to add a whole lot of ingredients to it, and I'm also making it with tofu. And it's just very quick, very easy, very simple, and it tastes delicious, because it has different textures, different flavors, Flavors, different colors. I just really like it and it is super simple. So that is what I'm making right now. Also, I got this one from the Zara sale and I like it, but I also don't like it, if that makes sense. I think that I need to wear it with jeans and then just tuck it in a bit because I feel like now I look a bit like, I don't know. Let me know what you think. It is very comfy. So that's a win. I'm going to make lunch now and I will show it to you in a second. I have my bowl here and then I have some tofu which was already pre-marinated, pre-spiced. And then I decided to add some corn. I have some cucumber, some rice as I said which is the base of my bowl. Then I have some mustard to really tie all the different flavors in together. I'll just add the tiniest bit. Then I have some chickpeas and I made the chickpeas with some nutritional yeast and I also added some cayenne pepper and I made it with a bit of oil. Then I have half of an avocado here. I have some carrots and then I also have some kidney beans, which I admit don't look that pretty anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to throw everything together in my bowl and then I have my dinner ready. And then this is how it looks after I stir it for a little bit because I prefer to eat it this way, but it tends to look not as pretty. So yeah, this is my liner, which is a huge bowl of a lot of different things. So I'm going to have this right now and then in a few hours I'll be making dinner. It is time for dinner and for dinner I am having andaivi. I don't know what that is in English, let me check it. Andaivi is called endive. I made this with potato and I have some fake meat thingy that I don't eat very often but I just really like having it with andaivi. Endive is super easy to make. So step number one is to boil water and I usually boil it in a kettle because that saves time. And then I just put it in a big pan and then you add potatoes and then you throw the endive on top of it and then you just boil it for 10 minutes or so. I don't know, I just always put a fork in my potato and when it falls off then you know that the potato is done. And then I put some oil in a different pan and then I just 
prepared my fake meat. Now I just threw the water out. As you can see here, I have the boiled potato and the endive. And then I added some spices. I just have a sachet that is especially for endive. So I just throw it in there. I think it has a lot of pepper in it. And then I also add a tiny bit of oat milk and I add a little bit of butter. And this one is plant-based. I'm going to mash it up with this thing. And this is my dinner. I added some red. I was saying paprika in my 10k challenge video. I believe it is called bell pepper, but then again, some people were saying that they call it paprika as well. But I added some red bell pepper and I also added some unsalted cashews. That is not true. I added some salted cashews and I didn't add any salt to the potatoes. That is what I did. And then I have my fake meat thing right here so this is dinner i wanted to take some time to thank you guys with the video i was referring to when i was talking about the pepper or the paprika that was actually the 10k challenge that i did and in that video i said that i would donate all the ad revenue made from that video to a good cause and because of you guys watching the video liking it distributing it i was able to make a donation so thank you so much for watching the video and watching the ads from that video and i know that it is just a relatively small donation but it comes from a good place and i really hope that it can make a difference now i'm going to eat my dinner because it is already starting to get a little bit cold and then I'll be back once more for a evening snack. I said enough. I'm going to eat this and then I'll talk to you soon. It is time for the final meal for the day and I am having some tea. Then I have a banana and some cucumber and then I'm throwing in some peanut butter just to make a little dip. I usually don't eat fruit in the evening but I just really felt like it so that is what I am doing and that concludes my full day of eating for today i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please make sure to give it a like also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will never miss any of my future videos ever again and then i will see you in my next video bye guys